So today's video is about um, how to apply to different competition and awards and how to look for them. Uh, I get a lot of requests on um, how did we get all the different competition uh, all them years at A-Red. So I decided to do a video that I really will show you what kind of search I used to do on Google and uh, some of the keywords. So just to give you guys a lot of background, uh, a little bit of background about some of the, uh, the awards. We won over 10 awards in the last five years. And just on the award alone, we got roughly around a half a million. And most of, the, most of those awards were used for product development. The key is there's a lot of competition and award out there for young entrepreneurs, especially African entrepreneurs, developing innovative. Uh, but where do you go to find that? Where do you go to get that information? Of course, you go online. Uh, and other, other part I'll show you. So I'll break it down in three, into three key parts that you guys can use. But the first thing I want to use is the Google one. The first thing you do, you go on, on Google, biggest uh, search engine out there. Um, and then you use the keyword award. So you can use award for different, uh, uh, different um, topics. So you can do a health award. Uh, let's do health award 2018, for example. All right. And then, um, so you go through all the lines and you go, you see annual health award, global health award, uh, digital, so if you're in a digital space and then you open the page and you do your due diligence. First thing you need to check is um, if that award also include, uh, it, as an African entrepreneur, you can participate. Because some of them are only based for, for Europe, some of them are only based for the States, and some of them are global. So for example, this is a perfect example. Um, you have till September 7th, so you got to go directly to the criteria. Well, this one has a fee. It gives you what the, 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 the requirements are. Mobile digital award, connected digital health, and then uh, the classification, the judging. I'm trying to see if uh, it's open to the public. Anyway, you just have to read, it doesn't say here. So usually when you apply, let, let, let's check another one right quick. Um, so this is, this is a good one, Health Investor Award. That's for NGO. So Scottish, you know already, you're not qualifying for that. Um, and you have to go at least 10 tab deep. So you gotta go to the second, third, fourth, all the way to 10, just to make sure you're not missing anything. Uh, and you go to a different page, just to, to, to check what, uh, what's going on. Yeah, so you go and, and, and do the keyword. You can use keywords, so let's go here, for example, she award. Um, and then you can change energy award 2008 also and you see a lot of energy award um, the word award is the keywords right it works the best energy global war I know that one that's a global one so you can apply I think you can win up to ten thousand uh, dollars this health one it tells you um, the award where it's done, it's on June, so you can pass that one. And when you see an award that you like or you're interested in, so this one is 10th of April of 2009, so you can prepare for that one, right? And you go through it and you read and you see how much money they, you know, if they have no money prize, I don't recommend you uh, to apply. Definitely look for ones that have money prize, uh, mostly just uh, equity free money prize so you can use that to grow your business uh, most award are between you know five thousand to uh, half a mil some of the big awards that are you know much more harder so the smaller the award is 
the much easier. We'll do another video about that. Uh, energy, same thing. So when you find an award that you like, another way you can uh, follow up is they all have a, a Twitter account. So you gotta look for their Twitter account uh, in the system and follow them on Twitter. So let's go, uh, for example, this one. Okay, interesting. Uh, so this one, for example, I can't see it. So you can do a search uh, on Twitter, but um, usually they, they should have at least attendance. Uh okay, so this one is here. The reason why you want to follow them on Twitter is because on Twitter they posted early on to give you time uh, to apply when you, you know, after, after a few months you're going to forget about it. So if the, if the award is passed on, then what you can do is find them on Twitter and follow them. And when you follow them, um, they're going to post when the, the, the award is open. I wouldn't use the word competition. Award is the, the best keyword, as I said. So you follow them on Twitter. And Twitter has a lot of uh, posting um, that will remind you which one, which is the next award, which is the next timeline, which is the next date. And you, could, you can do that for, the, the, for most of the, the competition you want to apply for. And there's dozens. The take is you should apply for 20 to 30 competition every year because the, the odd of you winning at least one or two is usually the average. So out of, usually you can win between 10 to 20% of competition of the amount of competition you apply online. So if you only apply for one or two, your chance of winning is slim to none. But if you apply to a lot, uh, then you increase your chances. So apply to a lot. Second thing, follow them on Twitter and, and, and check their post. And whenever they post something, when they open the, the application, then you can apply. The last thing is that I would do is follow or, uh, some of the newsletter. So this is a perfect example. Uh, this is a good one, ICT work. ICT work, and we'll post the link uh, somewhere on the video. But ICT work lists a lot of different funding. Um, on a weekly basis. So they'll tell you all the different uh, competitions that they have in stock uh, for you. And you can subscribe. So go to their website and subscribe to their newsletter. Uh, what it'll do, it'll, it'll send you that information every week when they have new competition, new grants and all, they'll, they'll send it to you. So very important. Another good one um, is VC4. a.com that website also uh, gives you a lot of different uh, companies that you can apply for and you have to go to programs and when you get to programs they'll tell you not just competition but also uh, accelerator program so first thing you, you need to do is sign up put your company in there and check check that website um, from time to time. So again, step number one, go on Google and uh, use the, word, the keyword award and whatever sector you're in. So if you're in health, you say health award. And if you want to minimize the search, put the dates, the year actually, you in. So 2018 and go through at least 10 tabs, 10 different tabs to make sure you're not missing any. Uh, the second step is follow those uh, awards you're interested in on Twitter. Uh, so when they post on Twitter, it'll update you so you can uh, apply for those awards. The, sec the third thing is follow some of the websites, VC4A and ICT Works. Uh, we'll put the link uh, somewhere on the video and you subscribe to them or you sign up. They will update you from time to time. Again, the key is 20 to 30 applications every year. That will increase your chance to to win. And uh, if you have, if you guys have any question or, or, or any feedback, just write it below on the comment. Thanks.